Welcome to part four of the video tour of Herod's Temple in 3D. Walking up the Herodian step street to the temple began with the purification ritual at the first century immersion pool at the south end of the city of David. Below the street was a city drainage ditch. From here we could also enter through the south gate. The stepped bridge, called Robinson's Arch, looms overhead. This led to an upper gate uh, and the new western court of the temple complex. There had never been a western court before this time. The Kel now went all the way around the sacred area. Prior to this, it was just a path on the edge of the Tyropoian Valley created for animals to be brought into the lower court of the first and second temples. Uh, there were no western gates in Solomon's temple. Alone. This building with the uh, tunnel and steps leading up to it is still in existence today, buried below ground level of the Temple Mount. It was made into a cistern. However, I believe it was the holding place for animals to be purchased on the upper court, a, bar a barn of sorts. Back on the Kel, on the north side, on the left, we see the uh, priest quarters. Uh, this building sticking out into the Kel was called the Chamber of the Hearth. Because it had a hearth. <laughs> to warm oneself after immersing into the cold underground mikvah. This mikvah connected to a branch of the aqueduct. I believe this mikvah is among the ruins below the al Mosque. The uh, priest could also sleep in this room on cold nights uh, on the steps to warm themselves at the hearth. This building was half on the Kel and half on the Temple Court. Here we are on the priest's court where no one was allowed except the priests. The temple had two rooms, the holy place, and beyond the veil was the Holy of Holies, which was only entered once a year by the high priest. The temple had a large golden menorah, uh, the altar of incense, and the table of the showbread which was overlaid with gold. It had 12 loaves of bread representing the 12 tribes. Sadly, I can only represent these items with uh, what is allowed to me in this program. In the northeast corner was a door to the side chambers. Uh, they went all the way around the northwest and south walls of the temple. They were three stories high and were used for storage and study.
Solomon's altar was smaller and had steps where Herod's had a ramp, but I can only make steps in this program. Many lambs could be roasted at one time on the large altar. The three buildings were where the hides were salted and tanned and stretched. There was a small building with a trap door leading down to the hollows below the temple. The steps were cut into bedrock. In the distance, we can see the pool cut into the court for filling the labor, with the aqueduct ending in a pool, and the mikvah below the chamber of the hearth. Also, the rock-cut blood channel going down to the drainage ditch deep below. Herod's new western court had rows and rows of these huge arches supporting the floor above. The Sanhedrin also met on the temple court. Within this building was a mikvah on the roof. This is one of the two mikvahs the high priest bathed in as part of his daily ritual of purification. I created a small building with steps uh, leading up to the place of the trumpeting that Josephus spoke of. Here the priest blew the trumpet on the Sabbath when it began and when it ended and for celebrations. From here we exit by the stepped bridge back down to the first century street. <laughs> 